Hey, what's up guys, Kodar here, and I am here with Gek Tutorial Episode uh, 0. I actually went back um, in the series, so I'm already done with Episode 2, but I went back because I realized, oh crap, I didn't go over how to do all the different controls in the um, render window over here. I didn't really go over the windows in full detail, I just like sort of kind of glazed over them, so you'll see that in the future. So, you know, I was just like looking at um, how to do something on one of the other videos for the mod I'm working on, which is this mod right here. And so many people are like, oh, how do you use the camera? So I thought, no, oh, that's probably a good idea to teach them how to do that first. So first off, let's start here with the object window. So object window has every item in um, the entire Fallout game, really. So for this example this is fallout new vegas of course oh, so yeah in in this case this is fallout new vegas so you know you would go here to actors open it up npc and just wait for a minute uh just kind of ignore all these zeros it's all my stuff that i made so you know let's just find a, a character that everybody's familiar with so you know you have um holy shit really Craig Boone. Yeah, Craig Boone right here. So here's Craig Boone. You can double click on this and open it up and you can just take a look at Craig Boone. And that's his face, I guess. Gross. Yep, and that is Craig Boone right there. If you click on full, that's Craig Boone. And cancel. So that is how the object window is used. Um, also, in my case, um, Charles right here. Uh, you just click and drag and you can place them inside the render window. So your cell view down here um, contains all your different world spaces. So you have your interiors here and uh, all these other, other different world spaces. These are all like outside stuff though. So right now I'm in Freeside Atomic Wrangler. So what you do to find that is type in Freeside. Well click here and then type in Freeside and then Atomic Wrangler pops up and just double click on it and then it'll start you off down here so just use the scroll wheel zoom out until you get this view so now we'll go over the render window which is probably the most difficult to understand because the controls are so confusing trust me I know it took me at least three months to get them fully down and I still screw up sometimes so to do what I'm doing right now just kind of move around uh, hold down space and just move your mouse and that moves your camera view around. Um, another thing is rotation. Careful because it's very sensitive. Um, hold shift and just kind of move your mouse around and you can rotate it like so. But yeah, it's very, very sensitive, so be gentle with it. <laughs> Treat it like a newborn kitten. Be gentle with it because it's very sensitive. And then here, I'll move around Charles down here, for example. Uh, you can just hold down Z you can just move them up and down because that's the Z axis, I guess. Axis, axes, whatever. Just click on them and drag your mouse around and it just kind of moves them like this. Right click and it'll rotate them. Hit F and it drops them down to the floor. Don't know what just happened to lights. Uh, yeah, hit A for better lighting like this. Yeah, this place is a freaking dump. That is disgusting. Look at all that garbage. Uh, yeah, let's just not do that. <laughs> Yeah, there's all that. Now, um, something else to go over, which is very helpful as well. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me get better lighting. It's just kind of disorienting. Is your uh, view window right here. So your view window, you um, can bring up your show hide menu. You can get rid of markers. Get rid of all those. Light markers gets rid of the light markers. Sound markers, you know, it just it shows all these different things shows and doesn't show all these other things. See if I untick actors, boom, gone. Bring them back, boom, there. Markers, gone, back. My gec is a little bit glitched, so your guys' might be different. Like, it might actually use all the markers correctly, but I don't know, I don't... I think the gec needs, like, updates, but of course that'll never happen because of the creation kit being out, all that. They kind of focused all their energy on the creation kit, which kind of leaves all of us Fallout mod modders just kind of in the dark. But, you know, I still make do. Uh, yeah. So, uh, nav mesh I'll go over in a uh, future tutorial. So if you guys are interested in that, just uh, keep on watching the series. And yeah, this is uh, 
the mod that I'm working on right now. I need voice actors for this mod, by the way, so post down in the comments if you're interested in that. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so I did uh, totally neglect to say one thing. Um, press Control D to duplicate. Control Z to undo. Control X to delete. And again, Control Z to undo. So yeah, those are uh, little shortcuts instead of having to look for it and be like, okay, where is it over here? Okay, okay, found it and delete. You know, it's just, it's easier to just have all the shortcuts. So definitely know all your shortcuts for whatever program you're using because it'll make computer work so much easier. Promise you. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If it did, leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.